I think they should be embarrassed. I think they should take all the uniforms, put them in a big pile and burn them and start all over again. From berets to trousers, U.S. Olympiads will be clad in the all-American label Ralph Lauren. But technically, it's not all-American, since the official uniforms are all made in China. But I am so upset. Some senators criticize the outsourced U.S. team attire. If they have to wear nothing but a singlet that says USA on it, painted by hand, that's what they should wear. We have people in the textile industry who are desperate for jobs. And I think what the Olympic Committee done is absolutely wrong. U.S. Olympic Committee spokesperson Patrick Sandowski on Twitter said, All this talk about Olympic uniforms made in China is nonsense. Polo Ralph Lauren is an American company that supports American athletes. He goes on to say on time, the U.S. Olympic team is privately funded and that they're grateful for the support of their sponsor. The U.S. Olympic Committee certainly should be more sensitive. Romney, who represents the textile union at Workers United, thinks it's un-American. To the workers that we represent, and I'm sure that they feel bad about this because they certainly would have taken a lot of pride, in my view, in being able to produce a product that is going to be worn by an American athlete that is going to be seen around the world. In Madison Avenue, right by various Ralph Lauren stores, New Yorkers sounded off. I don't think it's a company's responsibility to give work to a human. Uh, I think it's every individual's responsibility to find their own job. If someone's saying Ralph Lauren owes them a job, I would disagree with that. If you're going to promote yourself and as an all-American, then why not have your things be made in America? Reporting from Manhattan, this is Maria Katz-Sandoval for the New York Post.